Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another process video. Today I'm working on a sketch from the Scrap a Sketch Facebook group which is Lisa Sikorsky and it's sketch number six that I'm working on today. So I've done a little bit of preparation as you can see because it's um, it's got this background with all the uh, squares so I thought I'd do that ahead of time. Um, I've used um, uh, American Crafts cardstock as usual on the back. And then I've got this Bella Besties Freehand Graph and Dot Pony. And what I've done is I've trimmed it into two and a half inch squares and I've just used both sides. So what I've done is I've used one side then the other side and I've just done that for the whole square. The um, the actual sketch does call for kind of like an outline so I've done it a little bit squashed in the centre because I'm either going to do a doodle border or stamp um, a border on the, on the edge. So what I've got here today is some docky about flare pieces. I've found these wooden stars in my stash and I've got these three wooden stars here. These are some of the ones I mentioned in a previous video that I'm products that I mentioned that I got from Sainsbury's a few years ago in their Christmas wrapping sort of section but you know like I said I use them for my scrapbooking. I've pulled out the American Crafts Navy Puffy Alpha that I like and I've pulled out the L Studio Tile Jane Tile Alphabet sticker in blue. I've got my two ink pads today I've got this blue which is the uh, Ranger Cobalt and I've got Encore Silver. I want I needed to find something that I could stamp with on the dark blue. The only stamp pad that I had was this one. I don't actually have a white one because I, I did have a white one, but it just got really filthy and uh, I couldn't keep it white. So I gave up on having a white ink pad. Um, so, yeah, my photos today are these two. The sketch actually calls for, I think the photos in the sketch are probably three by four but I'd already printed these and I, I, I quite like them a large size so I'm going to go ahead and use those. I've also got this Project Life card that I'd already trimmed up so I thought I'd try and use that today and I've cut some more of that Bella Besties paper into um, these banner edges because that features on the sketch too. Oh and I forgot to mention this washi tape. I wanted to sort of use washi tape for the element on the sketch across the, the banner piece but um, I didn't have any, I haven't even got a few rolls of washi tape and this was the only one that would you know go if at all I'm not sure but we'll see we might put that on and we might just um, draw a line or something we'll see later. So what I'm going to do um, now is I'm going to stick all these pieces down and then I'll come back to you and we'll uh, create the layout from there. So that's those pieces all adhered to the page. Um, there is a white core to this cardstock um, showing on the edges there, but I decided that I quite liked that. I did think about inking the edges in the brown ink, but I decided that I liked it as it is. So we're going to go with that. I've got this banner piece here that would that needs to sort of go here. I only had a small piece of uh, this paper, so I you know sliced it in two to make it look as I've got a full piece when it's down and then I was thinking I could probably the element at the top here I was thinking I would probably put that up there in the photos I think what I'll do is I'll do this down first because that is definitely going there I could use my tea ruler for this just to because these are not straight so 
We'll try and make the banner piece a little bit straight if we can, just so it looks as though it's one piece. A bit further down than that. Sort of about there, I think. And then the same on this side. This is where the washi tape goes on the sketch. Let's have a look what that looks like, shall we? You know, I think I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to go with that. That doesn't need to be straight. Just trim that off there on the edge. Yep, yeah, I know it's kind of a bit out there, but I like it. So we'll, we'll do that. Now then. The photos, sort of one's a little bit more straight than the other in the sketch. One kind of goes off a little bit like that. So I think that's probably what I'll do. I'm not planning on um, raising them on foam or anything. I was just going to lay them flat. So I think what I'll do is I'll pop that photo down. Sort of. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop that one over the top a little bit. There is a little bit of journaling here in the sketch, which I probably will try to do. I might even use this piece for that. There. This one just overlapping to a slight angle there. Yep, I think we'll do that. Like I say, I might use this piece for journaling. I'm not too sure yet. These photos were taken at a beach that we like to go to with the dogs. And on this particular day, it was a bit wild. The beach was a bit wild. The sea was quite wild. And to be honest, the dogs were a little bit wild. <laughs> it wasn't a, a particularly relaxing trip to the beach. So I just took a moment, you know, to breathe and relax a little bit. So let's look at some embellishing then. Um, I think we'll probably put the probably pop these down here, the layer badges. Really nice colours to go with the uh, the feel of the page, and also I like the dots because of the dots in the uh, pattern paper. The title on the sketch goes here, and I had originally planned on on putting the title there, but because my photos are larger than in the sketch. They, they've, you know, they've taken up more room. So I'm thinking now that I might put the title here, and the titles are either going to be breathe or just breathe. And then I think I might pop these stars here, up here, because I'm wearing a jumper with stars on it, so that's the reason for those. And also because they're like a really nice wood wood grain. I thought that kind of went with the feel of the layout as well. Three of those there. I might put the name of the beach, stamp the name of the beach there actually. Maybe I'll do that now. Because that would be, um, otherwise I'll be trying to stamp again with the embellishments in place, which I've done before and it doesn't work. So we'll just do that now. I'm doing it backwards, which is not a good thing to do in case I make a spelling mistake. I know Adam thinks he's the only one. Scrappy Adam thinks he's the only one that has that problem. But I think you'll find we all have that problem, Adam. But this is quite a simple title today or, or name of the beach. Brooke. So I've got managed to get that right. This is another one of those... Um, Stamp sets that I was saying about before, you just pick up from like the range or the works and it's usually a pound or two. This I've got two and this is the other one that I've got. I've got the one that's kind of a 1950 style and then this one too. I like, I like this one as well. So that's that too. I think I'll probably stick this down now. About, I think in the sketch it just goes to here, but I'm going to do it all the way to the... Uh, edge because I do like that look. Perhaps over that way a little bit. 
And what I think I will do as well is uh, put a staple in there. I do like the look of a staple. That's just the Tim Holtz uh, Tiny Attacher. It's a very popular tool with scrapbookers. I think almost everyone who scrapbooks has probably got one. Right, I think we'll think about these again. Well, just to deal those down. You do need a double layer of um, foam pads on the XL flare because they are larger and they, they, they're a little bit, you know, they're a little bit more height. But that's fine. I quite like a little bit of height, texture, anything that adds, you know, a little bit of interest or shadow to your page. I think, I think that's okay there. Should I do that a little bit lower? I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to pull that up, am I? Yeah. I think I might. I'm not sure whether to cover this little bit here. Or just do this here. I think I'm going to do it there because the grid is obviously part of the design. So I don't really need to cover that little section there because it is part of the design of the layout. So I think I'm going to leave that today. Right then, these stars, they do have foam pads on them, whether they're any good or not, I don't know. I don't think they are, actually. I'll, peel, I'll take those off. Just use a little bit of um, glue on those. I would use glossy accents, but it's not to hand. These will be fine, though. They'll stick fine. There, I think I like that. Could put the date there actually. I was thinking of putting the date down here, but I think I'll put the date there and then a little bit more room there for the writing. I've already got the uh, the date on the set on the uh, date stamp. Do a little bit of an extra one there. So now we just need to think about the title and the journaling and how I'm going to um, create the outline on the page. So I think with the title, well, I'm going to start with these because I know I can say breathe with these. I'm going to do it backwards again and hopefully spell it properly as I've not written it down. Adam. <laughs> I think I can manage breathe. But then again, you know, your brain works in funny ways, doesn't it? It's amazing, but it can also trick you. Don't think that's going to fit quite on that square. I'm not sure at the moment whether that bothers me or not. With it being a blue, whether you'll be able to see it. See it. Yeah, I think you can see that. Don't, unless I really scooch it close, it's not going to fit, I don't think. Like I've said before, these particular alphas are quite forgiving. You can pick them up and replace them if you need to, but some alphas don't like that at all. And you, you know, a little bit of damage and then it shows. But I know these ones are quite forgiving. Otherwise, I would have placed these onto something else first gently of course I think I like that I'm not sure I think I've probably got what I need in here as well to put just there or like I said I was thinking of using this alphabet but you know I think I'm going to extend the title and I think I am going to use this alpha because I think it the other one is a, sort of a different blue and it's a little sort of like a brighter blue and I think for this layout I quite like the um, the darker blue to go with the uh, theme of everything Pop that one down. and then I like that. 
as I said, the original title was supposed to go here, but actually, I think I like it there anyway. That's um, now then, journaling I'll do finally. I've got need to think about the stamping. I've got this um, this stamp which is stars, and I, I thought it'd make a good border stamp. It's from this clearly Kelly planner stamp set, which is a favourite of mine, and I do use it a lot. I've got my silver ink pad here and I'm thinking what I might do is perhaps just do it here, stamp here and here and, and not there and not do a full border. So I'll, I'm going to give that a go first and see what see if I like that. Pigment ink pads, the actual pad is tends to be softer whereas on the dye ink pads it's more firm. I try to keep these away from my uh, actual layout. You should always keep ink pads away from the layout but um, you know we don't do that do we we tend to put it on the layout to to work with but it's a good tip because you know sometimes you can drop them <laughs> I like that a lot I think I'm going to do that here as well now then I need it to go this way don't I like that yep Oh, that is nice. I do like that. This one. Sorry for the clattering from the ink pad. Right. Let's have a look at that. Mm. Now, do I want to do an edge there and an edge there? No, I don't think I do. I could carry it, you know, along here. I actually think I'm just going to leave that. So I've just added my journaling using my Uniball pen and I'm just going to adhere that to the page now. Just there, I think. Just there, I think. Yeah, just there. To cover the both, both sections of blue. Right, and I think this layout's finished. I've got these um, sprinkle pieces of wood veneer that I could use but I'm not actually I can't think that I'm, I would like there's anywhere that I want to put them so yeah I'm going to call this layout done so thanks again for watching and uh, if you're interested in taking part in uh, following a sketch just go over to scrap a sketch you'll be most welcome there this is sketch number six there are several other sketches to give you inspiration and um, take care and I shall see you next time